Disneyland. But instead of going there today, during the Get Your Ears On celebration, we are going to be heading across the way to Disney's California Adventure, where we are going to partake in the Food and Wine Festival 2019. This is Rant and Robin, and today we're at California Adventure. So, come join me in the park as we explore the Food and Wine Festival and see what offerings they have this year. And look at some of the rides until they open at 11 a.m. for the Food and Wine Festival. Because the park's open, but the Food and Wine Festival does not start until about 11. So we're going to walk around, take in the sights, and then enjoy the Food and Wine Festival. All right, let's go. Here at Big Top Toys, they've got a set of the uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride right here that we'll have to pick up. Trolley, and right there is the officer patrolling, making sure. What? Profit! The palm tree wasn't there, that would be a great time if Grizzly Peak Yep, you can see Grizzly Peak. And we're headed toward the Iperion Theater back there. Which has frozen right now. Which has frozen. Disney Junior's Live is right there. The dance party now. Uh, That's not live for Hollywood. Oh, the dance party, I'm sorry. And we're headed down the main street in uh, California. We've been to. Wait a minute, sister. Let's head in and look. Mickey Mouse clothing store. Or just in general, the Mickey Mouse store. I note here that you've got more of a animated screen for the Star Wars quarters on the penny machines inside the Mickey yeah, store. Sure. One of them is out of order, so I won't show you that one. Here are some Mickey sets inside off the page. Each one of these boxes costs about $30, and you can walk away with uh, four uh, heavier figurines. They're mini ornaments, and they are heavier than your average big figure. I love these stylized Mickey paintings, but I would have to say that my favorite would definitely be the Sorcerer. But he's always been uh, or this one. my favorite this one version of Mickey. There is a second version of the Sorcerer down here that you can see. And I'll get to it in just a second. Not quite as good as the first, but still pretty nice. Non-interactive, uh, but very cool paintings of characters outside the off-the-page area. Now we're going to be trying a little bit later to see if we can get into the animation studio and check out some of the stuff there. Definitely. Um, but we're just going to base it on what time and what they're painting to know whether it's something we want to do. There's Goofy out and about. Taking off for the afternoon. The mouse is out right now a little bit for a little bit today. Very cool. In about an hour, the food and wine festival will begin. Sponsored by Almond Breeze. Rich is my favorite type of milk because I drink almond milk and I don't tend to do silk. I'm an almond breeze kind of guy myself because for those of you who don't know, silk has more soy in it. So if you have a soy allergy, silk will react with you like it's soy. So if you want just pure almond milk, almond breeze is the way to go. Entering Cars Land where we're going to try to get a fast pass for Radiator, for Radiator Springs. Springs. So let's see if we can get a good... I love the theming back here, where they've really built it up like Route 66, including the marks in the road, to show you. But this is built up to look like the area, I believe, uh, Northern California, right? Is where Radiator Springs is supposed to be? Somewhere in there. Right near Arizona, California border, I believe. It's kind of where they're aiming for with the whole rock formation stuff up there. Hi 
guys all in. There comes Mater. All right, so we just got these at 9.56 in the morning on a Tuesday, and already we're down to 5.20 in the afternoon, in the evening, 5.20 and 6.20, so the uh, Radiator Springs racers go very fast. Let me give you a quick view of the racers, which appear to be flying by a little bit right now, and we'll see if we can catch one. So anyways, that's how popular this ride is. So make sure you get here for your fast pass uh, before 10, honestly, because I would guess by noon they're all gonna be gone. All right, if you have one of these tickets and you're scanning it for a fast pass, you wanna make sure that you block the bottom or the, the barcode that's in about the middle of the ticket on the back and make sure that you have it scan the barcode at the uh, top left. You wanna make sure it scans the barcode yeah. at the top left and then you'll see your ticket for fast pass dispense at that point. Yeah. Um, so just letting you know if you have one of the harder tickets, uh, one of the card-like tickets, what to do with it. The Ouija's Rollicking Roadsters is appears to be closed today, uh, possibly because we were expecting uh, some rain maybe, but I'm not sure. And it is one of our only trackless rides left in, or one of our only trackless rides here in California. So it doesn't work well when it gets wet at all. So we're going to go look in the Radiator Springs store for a little bit. Right here we're coming into the area where they have food done up like the cones on routes well done up to parody the teepees on route 66 that they have that look like indian teepees down around about fontana california for those that are familiar with the area so we're going to check out some of the food offerings that they have right now so they have popcorn at popcone makes sense and you have uh, pretzel bites and twists, a lot of those, along with the apple freeze. And the bacon mac and cheese appears to be right here, if That's we want to pick we up some of that. Thinking of checking out. Which I think we're going to check out in just a little bit, but I'm going to finish kind of perusing down these. And, and it's not very eat a churro. No, not really. Uh, you got ice cream on this one, but it appears to be closed. Maybe I'll pick up a little later. Yeah. And churros. Churros with dipping sauce over here. So interesting. All kinds of stuff they have here. Hey, so we're here with the bacon mac and cheese that we got from cone number three. And uh, case, cone queso, I believe is the name of it. Uh, anyways, it's mac and cheese and bacon and one of the things that we wanted to try when we got here. And, uh, yeah, let's check it out. We'll let you know how it is. All right, so we're right near the cones on this side. And if you look on this side, one of the Imagineer Easter eggs that they put right inside is Buzz Lightyear is in the, the wrong Pixar movie. He's hiding under the cone right there. He's apparently on the other side, too, at about the same spot. So it is kind of interesting.
All right, before we show you what we just got, we wanted to talk to you about the bacon mac and cheese. So we thought that you said it was what kind of flavor for the cheese? Velveeta. Okay. Yeah, more creamy or craft cheese. But it worked really well with the saltiness of the bacon. I oh, thought yeah. that it was it was really good dish to have. And they the first couple of bites are kind of heavy on the bacon, but as you go through it's more sprinkled evenly. So you could always find a way to well, kind of mix just it. Well, kind of the bacon on top. Yeah. Yeah, very true. So now we're going to show you what we got from our first part of the Food and Wine Festival. Golden Dreams. So from California Golden Dreams, we got the cotton candy soda and we got the chili relleno bites. Now what we want to do is we want to try a sample of the cotton candy before dumping it in a sample of the drink. So why don't we take this and rip that in two. Oh, All right. And we'll let you know what this is like. Okay, cotton candy with a hint of pineapple, but it yep. tastes like a nat natural pineapple flavor. Now we want to take a sip of the drink I'm going to take the cotton candy off of the straw first. Uh, there's some in it, so let's take a fully free of the straw drink. All right. And on the side here, you got buttercream, frosting, and sprinkles. Kind of Sprite mixed with the Jones cotton candy soda. Yeah, I saw them putting... I, I will say, not to break the magic, so cover your ears if you don't want a spoiler. I did see them mixing Sprite in as the base drink for it. They were throwing Sprite cans away as they were mixing it. All right, now. Ready for the magic? Yep, let's make the, the magic, magic happen. We got a good shot of it. All right, do it. Okay, see how it turns the drink, it turns the drink green because of yellow and blue mixed together. And it should add to the cotton candy flavor too. It's fizzing and there are pineapple peas. Whoa. Yeah, there are pineapple pieces in here. You're right. That is crazy. All right, let's try a sip of it now. Now, I did stir the straw, so the straw is... That's on bad. Haven't had much, but that's my favorite thing so far. All right, let's try the chili relleno bites. Do we see forks or anything? Uh, let me turn off the camera and see if we can find forks. All right, let's try these. I'm gonna take it up and do it more like a lollipop and see if I can get just a single bite of it. Keep going, I'm gonna meet up. Let's see the inside Ooh, of that. that is good. Okay, I'm gonna take, I guess I'll take the other one. Since there's two. Yeah. Mmm. No, I've had a lot of chili rellenos in my lifetime. Because for those of you who don't know, it's become one of my favorite foods when I go to a Mexican restaurant. Reminds me a lot of Miguel Jr.'s, for those who've eaten mm -hmm. there. But well, with a no, thicker, I like, that so much. like uh, almost like there's cornflakes or something in the coating. Uh, a non-smooth coating, like a crumb coating or something. Okay, what would you rate this stuff? Uh, let's say, let's rate everything on a scale of one to 10. So let's start with the cotton candy soda on your rating and then my rating. I would probably give it a 6.5 because it's just a like regular soda with the gimmick of the cotton candy. Yeah, I'd give it an eight for the gimmick, but the actual flavor of the cotton candy is not as strong as say Jones soda. Now what about the chili rellenos? Chili rellenos? For bean bites, they're not too spicy and everything. I would say this is probably an eight for me. And I would put this, I would put this, I'm not as big on the crunchy coating, so I would bring my 10 flavor down to an eight or an 8.5 because of the crunchiness. That's what I'm saying. The coating's a little thick, but outside of that, the flavor is very nice. It goes nicely with the salsa verde. All right, well, I'm going to turn off the camera so we can actually finish eating this stuff, and then we've kind of given the viewers a good idea of how it tastes, so we'll head off after this. Redwood Creek Challenge Trail here in the Redwood area we're going to go take a look at now. I think we're going to walk that way. Or do we want to walk that way? 
Nice. You want to walk toward the sequoias, toward Big Sur, and up Redwood Creek around? Looks like you can take a big circle around yeah, it's it. It's basically a big circle, so. Let's do it. Go to Big Sur first. Or yeah. through Big Sur, rather. And now we get to go through our first fake Redwood. <laughs> Very beautiful running water here in this area. They really want to replicate the uh, sequoias. And of course, through there, you can see the side of the Grand Californian right over there, right up next to us. And animal trails on the ground, too, in the cement. Nice little trick they do to really make us feel like we're there. Kenya's spirit cave. You get to see what your spirit animal is. That is very cool how it does that. Making the maple bacon churro that we just ordered. Show you guys kind of what they're doing. The maple drizzle right there. And the bacon bits. Here is the maple bacon churro. I'll get you guys kind of a close up on it. So you can check it out. I don't think we'll be able to finish this without hurting ourselves, but we wanted to try it, so here goes. Thoughts? That's good. Yeah, that was delicious. Again, I think three or four bites max is what I got on this. But again, worth the try, but I, I definitely recommend that you have a whole family with you for this one. Yeah. Because even with two of us, I don't think we want to finish it. Because it's very rich. It's, it's like one of those food items where you take a bite or two, and then you're like, unless you're just a nut, you're, you're pretty much done. But it's delicious. It's only four bucks, though. Four or five bucks, right? Yeah. So. Um, let me notify you guys of something. At least when we were here, the cart that sells this was not labeled. It was just labeled as a normal churro cart. We just happened to see someone else buying one from the same booth. So we knew. So This is the party to get your ears on celebration. This is the churro cart next to the Grizzly uh, Trail. Grizzly hey. River Raft and the Redwood Creek Trail. Yeah, yeah. Definitely worth trying, but yeah, it's not labeled. Try um, to figure out what this right one is. You'll, you'll, just, you'll just have to ask them. <laughs> Now, I'll be honest, while I am not personally a drinker myself, I am checking out the beer garden just to see what we've got up here. Just more as information and maybe to see if there is some interesting food too. But it does appear that most of this is the beer education and tasting. But there does appear to be a few, a few uh, food ones. But I just want to show you this for some of you guys that might be more interested in drinking where the beer garden is. Um, right here. Uh, for those not, there is some food options that are offered, uh, such as bratwurst on a pretzel bun and uh, beer marshmallows. That sounds lovely. Yeah, not a big thing in my opinion either. Here's a picture of the inside outright that they're planning to put in right here this in this area. Repurposed from Bugsland. Repurposed from the Bugsland area. And across from us, uh, the symphony swings are also under construction right back there, too, it looks like, being repurposed probably, or just remodeled. Here is Rainbow Unicorn, for those that are interested, they still have tons of them inside the store, uh, right on Pixar Pier near the Inside Out Ride area that's going to be coming. 
So I just wanted to show you guys that. Here is the crying bing pong. Now if we wait just long enough, he should say something. I cry candy! There you go. Here's the anger dog. Right here. I love the theming. Woody is out right now. Sheriff Woody. Yep. Here is just a nice view of the rides up here. Let's see what we can get. It looks like they're loading the carousel. And looks like the ride's going to come out the second loop soon. So there we go. On the outside of the aerial building is a hidden Mickey. At least we're counting it. Nick Wild and Hops are out, Officer Hops, right now. So very cool. Nick Wild's kind of heading off, it looks like. And so is she. Very cool. Pluto is coming out to greet everyone right now, it looks like. From California Craft Brews, we picked up the pepperoni pizza egg rolls. Sorry if it's off center, the glare on this camera is horrible. And from the berry patch, right over there, we have picked up the strawberry coconut rice uh, frushi. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna eat the pizza first and tell you what it's like as we're eating it, and then we'll move on to the other stuff. All right, you ready? Yep. Like, no, Alright, we've got marinara sauce and pesto sauce. So which one do you want, blue or green? I'll start with green. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I said it should have red, I think I said blue. But lots of cheese on it. What do you think? Deep fried pizza roll. I'm sorry, all I'm getting is deep fried covered in pepperoni. Not much variety to it. No, not really. I try it with the pesto. Uh, out of 10 on this one. Six. Honestly, I was thinking you'd do better at Disney if you bought that egg roll part in Walt Disney World. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go lower and say four. Green six for the idea is interesting. Basically. Yeah. All right. Looks like we got one, two, three, four pieces. Basically, no, just two, two. pieces. Well, that one's cut in half. This one isn't. Really? Yeah. So let's try the two smaller pieces. Well, it looks good. Looks like it's a. Uh... Hmm. Mine's falling apart. There's the inside. Yep. I deconstructed mine. Go ahead. We'll get something. Get it all together as one bite. Okay. This is higher on my list. Seven or an eight. Again. This one's a lot better. It's like the... The rice almost tastes like rice pudding. Like a coconut rice pudding. Yeah. And then the strawberry is not overly sweet. And then what looks like the outside is more of a rice coating that's pink. Probably like a pink rice paper and then got the sauce is more cream cheesy. Yeah. Actually, I'm thinking the sauce reminds me of uh, coconut milk mixed with... Uh, Sweet and condensed coconut milk. Yeah, that's what I think. So what's your number for it? I'd say seven. Seven? And I'd say an eight or seven, but I love sweet stuff. More than this isn't overly sweet, like it could be. No, it's a fruit thing and it's really good. 
Nick and Hops are back out again a little bit later today, heading back toward their character meeting group. And uh, Nick just kind of made a funny joke toward these two girls sitting there. We are at iHeart Artichokes, and we have artichoke toast. Now we wanted to try the fried artichoke, but uh, and it looks like maybe they do it without the lemon aioli, but I'm slightly allergic to lemon, so we decided to just get this one instead and not overdo it on the food today. It's very easy to overdo food. Wait for a fast pass time. One more minute. Come back over here, guys. All right, I'm gonna let Foxcat take the first bite. So definitely, yeah, that'll be our next batch. Intriguing. Mostly an olive flavor with the hint of artichoke. Yeah. Out of ten? I go higher, I go an eight or a nine. I'm not big on I, olive I oil. I might go um, 7.5 because the olive flavor is kind of high. Yep. And I like the flavor of artichoke. I, it's I do okay, too. but it can be a little salty. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. And I would go with an 8 or a 9 also so because just the flavor is really good. It's just, it's not really artichoke because it's all as strong. You can do that from your seat as well. There we go, just warming us up. So we got a buddy pass. It is basically a single rider, but with two people. So. And it allows you to have two people. Be sure. We interrupt this program for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. Either confirm or deny the presence of a human child here tonight. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a doll. It's true! I saw the whole thing! Mission Breakout, which we are too wimpy to ride, but we still want to go look at the shop. I'm surprised to find that they actually have the collector still in right now. I picked him up in Florida, so, but he is interesting. I picked him up at the park in Florida. Into the Sorcerer's Workshop. With the magic of spinning, the scene will start to take fit to take form. There we go. 
know? That is very cool looking how that works. All right, let's see Goofy. Yep, Goofy's walking. As we spin this real fast, it will appear as if Ariel is inside the crystal ball. Yep. Right in here, you can let's speed it up again. Just the right angle to see it. Behold the realm in which you start, a world of mind blocked. We are in the Beast Library. Better be careful. I hope he doesn't come out and get us while we're sitting here, but uh, it tells the story of the Beast. Once upon a time. Bonjour! Touch the glowing bookmark and the enchanted book will show you your true character. Come, don't be shy, be my guest. Enchanté! It is with the greatest pleasure that we will now show you which Disney character is most like you. My assistant, please. Relax, Cogswell. No need to get ticked off. <laughs> My dear guest, first we must create your portrait. Gaze deeply into Cogswell's reflection. <laughs> Simply line up your face inside the oval, if you please. Now, sit back, relax, and smile. We're going to create your portrait here. Three, two, one. <laughs> it is perfect, yes? If not, you may try again. see him out and then right over here you've got Donald and then I was told that Daisy was right behind me. Oh right there. Wow. And if you ever forget that we're in California Adventure just look at this crowd here. And it'll remind you. We're on our way to go get a fast pass from uh, Midway Mania. See if we can uh, grab one of those. On to Pacific Wharf. And we're going to check out some of the food places that are uh, native to California Adventure. And see about uh, the sourdough bread. And uh, also uh, see about the Ghirardelli factory up here. like what you saw at the Food and Wine Festival, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Blue Diamond Almonds along with their almond milk. Definitely a good substitute for dairy. Alright, catch you later.